Imp! Nope, not the farm, that's the imp. Die, imp! Who's going down? I, I definitely need a, a scimitar. I know where I can get a myth one. So as soon as I get 20 attack, which will not be too long at all, um, I'll be able to use that and it will all be good. More life points. Good times. It's one of the most useful skills to have at low level, that is the um, ability to have more health. Oh great, some burnt bread. Wow, it's so, it's so useful. Why don't I just why don't I fill up my inventory with those? Ah, oh, god damn. Which reminds me, I need to keep a burnt fish. I need to get a fish, burn it, and keep it. For the purpose of a quest, you need to grab a burnt fish. I don't know why. I think it's for like some potion or something. I'm not not sure at all, but and just remember you need a burnt fish or some burnt meat, one of the two. I think it's burnt fish. I'll just say burnt fish a few more times, just in case you didn't hear me. It's burnt fish. Hmm. Let's see if I can I put these strange rocks together. Use with this one. Oh, nothing. Nothing interesting happens. Is um, what was I going to grab? Nothing, I don't think. I wonder if this Dwarven Army Axe is any good. could certainly find out. Let's see, what have I got at the moment? Plus 8. I'm not sure about its speed, though. Well, I suppose I can find out. If it's no good, it won't be too much that's been lost. Let's see, was there something else that I needed? I don't think so. Let's go back. Right, I only need like another 150 feathers, so another another inventory should do it. Maybe a tiny bit more. But I'm gonna need to kill the raw chickens anyway to train up seven in eventually. So, well, no, I'm gonna need to kill the chickens to get raw chicken um, eventually. So, you know, I might as well do it now. Yeah. What I'm thinking is, how long is it going to be before I can moderately easily kill those ghosts that I need to kill for Slayer? If I was to use like melee on them, I'm thinking if I was to get like full myth, I could probably do it. How quick is it? Ah, it seems to be just the same speed as a normal, like a normal axe. So rather powerful. Where you gone? Where you gone? I'm gonna come get you, mother trucking imp. You're going down. You gotta die, mother trucker. Dead. Ah, oh, I don't think that's the bead that I need. I'm almost certain that's not the bead that I need. I'm gonna keep it anyway. You never know. That naughty boy. Naughty, naughty. Going down, chicken. You go and die, mother trucker! You're a chicken and I'ma kill you. That's right, now you're dead. Now what you gonna do? Nothing. That's what you gonna do. Put my junk there. Right, there we go. Let's kill some serious chickens. Pow. Gacha. Oh, no feathers. It sure is upsetting when you get to kill something which you really want something on and it doesn't even drop it. Hmm. I do remember trapping. I might have already just said this. No, I don't think I did. Right, yeah, I remember trapping farmers in a corner and um, just standing pickpocketing them for ages. I think he might. Does he. I'm gonna check. I think he might drop a few low level seeds. Um, which I just happen to need. As soon as I find myself some potato seeds, I'm in there. I'm in there and I'm going to do some serious farming. And by serious farming, I'm going to do some light farming. Which is going to be nice. Also, can you carry a spade as like a tool? Is it a tool in your tool belt? I'm going to have to find out now that I've wondered. 
Now that I've wondered it. Let's see. Spade, no. Got right, I need a saw, a machete. No, it doesn't appear, so there's fishing. It's crafting. I don't think it would be in crafting. Yeah, no. But at least you can get ammo mold in there. Oh, we, here we go. Oh, it's farming. Seed dibber. There we go. Spade. Nice. Right. I could probably buy all that stuff. Just over here. Just like now. Not over here. What are you doing? Uh, open the gate. God damn it. Let me see. Right, so it was what? A spade, some secateurs. Um can't really think of what else it was. He's trying to run away from that farmer so we can re pocket it. I think he accidentally clicked attack. I remember doing that. Because uh, attack is the first option. Did I need that colour? I think it was blue that I needed. And if it was, I'm really upset right now. No, it's the normal, it's the farmer people that you have to talk to, and they sell you the old tools. Give me a tool, mother trucker. Um, can you sell me something? Yes. Some plant cure, a bucket of compost, a rake. Uh, 15 GP, yeah, that sounds fair. Let's see, I need some other stuff. Can you sell me something? What do I need? See more items. A watering can, a gardening trowel. A gardening trowel, please, my good man. Sounds like a very fair price. Thank you very much. Oh, can you sell me something? Depends. See more. A seed dibber. Everyone needs the old seed dibber. That's is a very fair price again. Um, can you sell me something? See more items. Uh, I don't think I need a watering can. I, he didn't sell me a shovel though, which is kind of what I needed. Um, but there's a, there's a shovel in Falador, so I can just grab that. I think I might have one in my bank as well. Might have grabbed one and put it in there. I hope I did. But thinking about it, now that I've got a rake, I can I can rake this stuff and uh, train up. Wait, what? What have I been training? Ah, shared XP. It's all shared XP. I can't help but feel that I've already got some shears. Already got it. Let's see. Which is okay, I suppose, on this axe. If it gives shared XP. You get a tiny bit of farming XP for raking this. Um, literally nothing groundbreaking. 4 XP. Which I suppose isn't, isn't too bad, because I haven't really done anything. Um, but you know, just whenever I come past one of these places, if I just if I just rake it, um, then I should get up a couple of levels before I've even started, and maybe I'll be able to plant onions. I think it's onions at level three, so I'll be good. Have some feathers. I could do with some stacks of fifteen feathers. That'd be helpful. Ooh, I'm level up strength. That's probably best actually to train it controlled. Because training up one, I mean, I was hitting really accurate, but not not very much. So I think getting up a few strength levels and even defense will help as well. Because I seem to be taking quite a lot of damage from those ghosts. Um, I need to train it up anyway. Did I just KO it? I think I did. Mm hmm. That'll be my first KO on a chicken. Let's see, let's use those. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Grab some bones. Let's see if I just stack all the chickens together. Just keep killing while I'm doing this. There we go. I can grab my raw chicken and my bones and then kill him. 
Where am I going to... Oh, oh, I really need to make some money. Like, seriously thinking about it. For summoning, summoning is going to cost hundreds and hundreds of K. Uh, money I just don't have. So I'm really... I'm really quite screwed when it comes to that. Um, but at the same time, there's not too much point in training it um, until I have got enough stuff to get to quite a high level. Because um, there's no really good, there's no really good familiars until level 40, which is the bull ant, and that will come in incredibly useful because it only carries six items or something, but it's still useful. Still re really useful, actually. Um, only carries a bit, but you know. It's cool. Grab me some more feathers. Alright, it'll be a few more after this. And then I have to go mining. Make some arrow heads. I'm not even sure if I can make those yet, actually. So I'll have to find that out. I can just find out now. Did I leave something? Oh god, don't attack them. Grab the feathers, grab the bones. There is those bones. Chop that chicken's head off. There's another there's another thing over there. Another imp just taunting me. Wanting me to kill him. Wanting. Pleading, in fact, for me to have that final blue bead which I want so badly. I need it so bad, Mr. Imp. Please. Please give it to me. I will give it you I will give I will pay you, Mr. Imp. If you give me a if you give me the bead, I will pay you real monies. I will give you all of my monies for it. I will give you uh I won't give you all of it, I need some of that. But I will give you a thousand GP. Damn, he teleported far away. What a pain in the ass. There's another one right there. Damn. Damn. Out. What? Did he just teleport back? That fucking... Oh my god. I cannot believe it. He just made me run all the way over here. And then he teleported straight back. Man, that is a real pain. Where have you teleported to? How far away are you? Where are you? Basically is the real question. So you've got to... You've got to bring some... What the hell are those wings, man? I need to know. I need to know what the wings are. It's important to me. It looks like I already did some damage to him. Maybe this was the one that teleported off a minute ago. Where did he go? Ah. I see you. Do I see the other one, though? No, that is the other one. That is the one that I was following. Ah, there they both are. What? Where have they gone? Where have they gone? They both just teleported off. The hell, man. There's one, I think. Nope, it's a person with red legs. Ah. Right, there's one. Oh no, they are still both there. Never mind. Never mind. I'm telling you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill them both. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot them in the head if they teleport away one more time. Just walk over there. Walk over there. Ah, oh, no, he's trapped behind there, isn't he? Crap. They always teleport into places that you can't get to. Sometimes in the Grand Exchange they teleport behind the counter. It's so funny. And I mean, like, you can shoot them from a distance, but... If I was to shoot one from a distance, right, it would, um... It would drop a blue bead. And then, then what am I going to do? I don't have a high enough level to telegrab. So I wouldn't be able to get it, and I'd just have to watch it disappear. Ah... Oh. And that would be my luck. Let's use those. Right, yeah, I do only need a few more. A few more feathers. And also, I just need to check my smithing. Smithing level. It's only three. Bronze. Sword. Arrowhead. Five. Okay. So. Not really long at all until I can make the arrowheads. Um, so I'm going to make some of them. Ah, there's an imp. Uh, and that will seriously get me up some fletching levels. 
Um, and I'll really be on the way to being able to make something useful. So it's, it's looking good. It's looking good for now. It's looking, actually, it's looking really good. It's looking up. Instead of down or straight in front. Come the hell back. If you're going to keep walking backwards away from me, I'm going to kick you in the nuts. I swear to God, stop walking away. That's right. Now give me my blue bead. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Right. Oh, I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm going to kick him in the head. Goddamn imps. I hate you. Oh, every kind of bead apart from the one that I need. That totally rhymed. What a win. Oh, I don't even think they've got any other use. So, I mean, yeah, they're worth a few hundred gold, but what is a few hundred gold when you can't trade? No, I don't mind not trading. I, I definitely think that so far going through, it's been much more fun not trading than it would have been if I'd have traded. Uh, like, definitely. Without question at all. Because the challenge is definitely there. Like, if I could trade, I could have by now. I could easily have just gone, bought myself 10k mind runes, 20k air runes, and, um, I could, like, so easily, and I could just have gone, done that ghost task, have an incredibly high magic level, then I could have probably, with the money that I could have made so easily, I probably could have just gone and bought, ah, he's right there, I probably could have just gone and bought um, chaos runes, um, and you know, I'd be shooting chaos runes at people right now, because uh, money, let's just be honest, it's not exactly hard to make on this game anymore. Uh, it used to be moderately hard. When there was no grand exchange, it was it was pretty difficult to make money. Uh, you know, you had to trade everything, you know, singularly. You had to find the person. You had to stand there for like hours just selling one thing. And um, if you couldn't sell it, you were pretty much screwed. And we could go over here and just rake these weeds. Um, but. Now that there's the Grand Exchange, you know, you can merch hundreds of mil without any problem. Um, and then the more money you've got, the more money you can merch. And in fact, without even merching, you can just... Especially since the bots have gone now, the money, the money is just so much easier to make. You can... Fishing kind of became obsolete because you could, you know, you can go fish a thousand shark and it's only like 600k. But now I think they're worth just under 2k, so that would be, you know, 1.8 mil or something. Which is an incredibly large amount more. So, you know, um, even though doing a 1k sharks takes a while, it's actually worth the effort now to put in. And, um, and then if, if you cook them, I believe the cook ones, cooked ones are worth slightly more. So, you know, you can just buy raw ones if you've got a high enough cooking level and just sell cooked ones. I believe that's quite a good way to make money. It's 50 each or something. So, not as much money as fishing them themselves, I wouldn't say. But, you know, you can do a K much faster um, cooking them than fishing them. So, you know, not maybe not quite as good money, um, but still, still good. And it's a little bit harder as well, because there's more clicking involved. And whenever there's more clicking involved, that's just annoying. The least amount of clicking is the best kind of skill. Not like agility. Millions of clicks, very little XP. Very hard to train. Very boring. Um, very moderately useful. Although, the 70... Agility. I do believe it's 70 agility to get into Sarah, the God Wars dungeon boss, and oh, whenever I used to be in a clan, and whenever they were going, you know, I never could go. I couldn't go to Corp either because I haven't done the quest because I could never be bothered. So as you can imagine, I was missing out on most of the most of the clan um, events, and you know that 
that's no good if you want to gain favor with the clan. Uh, you know, best thing to do is to you know go to every event for a few weeks, so you know get up a few ranks, um, get yourself noticed in the clan as one of the main people, and then you can get to help in the people that have just joined, which is always a good thing to do. I always enjoy helping uh, low-level players as much as I can, so yeah, you know. I do my best. And I only occasionally call them noobs. Um, but you know, I, I remember what it was like um, starting the game, so. Meh, I kind of help them sometimes. If they ask for help, I usually help. Or well, like those two people earlier. Um, they helped me kill Haiti, and I wouldn't have these beautiful Haiti gloves without them two people helping me. Holy crap, do I want to level up anything else? Three levels in like a few minutes that was. I am beast. I'm pwning it. And I think that's enough feathers, but I'll just, I'll finish this inventory, because you know, you might as well. Bury my junk. Damn, there's a lot of prayer XP right there. Almost gone up a whole nother level. Dad, chicken. Right, you could, I can really see the difference between even though I've only got a, a couple of strength levels, I can um, I can really see the difference in damage um, compared to what it was a minute ago. Every hit seems to be better than it was earlier. Uh, so you know, a few more levels and I'll be I'll be good. I'll be hitting fifties, hopefully. Um, and then once you start hitting that, you know. It's a slow increase, but eventually you start hitting hundreds, and then you start hitting hundreds, more than hundreds, and then you start hitting a million. Then you grab a polypore staff. I love the polypore staff because I hadn't been a member for so long. I'd never, I don't even think I'd heard of the polypore staff until like a week ago, uh, and I just used it for the first time yesterday. It was quite expensive, and I don't really have the farm in level to um, charge it. But oh my god, the cheapness of it and the power is just—it's just amazing. It's easily like the best magic weapon. I really, I really think it's good um, that Jagex have managed to bring back magic as like a proper skill. You know, like before it was, oh yeah, I train magic so I can teleport and high elk things. But now you know you can train magic and actually use it. To kill things, and um, and you know, if you ate your magic, you could probably go on a trip to the God Wars dungeon with friends who have all got high melee stats, and maybe yours not so high. You can just stay in the background and still be useful to the team, and basically not just be there, you know, leeching off of them. Um, because you know, you stand in the background. You, in fact, you use less food, and you actually end up have an extra to give to the tank and such. So, you know, you end up being more than helpful with it. So I think, I really do think Jagex have done an excellent job on the magic skill recently. Um, I know that they brought out the Armadale stuff, but I think they thought that that wasn't quite enough. I mean, it was good, but it was still pretty expensive uh, when you think about it. Because the, I think the runes were fairly expensive. Um, for the skill. But, yeah, the polypore staff, just right. Um, although I, I don't think that it's overpowered like Mela. I think people that are maxed will still do way more damage melee in with the max three stats and overloads and that than they would with a polypore staff, so. Excellent. And that's the end of the episode, guys. Please thumbs up this video and, and leave a comment down below.